Hello, witches. I'm going to draw us in some protection and get started on this reading, okay? Protegime. Benedictus. Okay. <clears throat> we'll be starting out with the Witch's Wisdom deck. I don't know about you guys, but here lately, I have been feeling the need to veil more often. I don't, um, there's a lot of reasons why different, you know, women will veil, wear veils. I specifically do it when there's heavy energies like now with Mercury retrograde and Mars retrograde. But sometimes when I get headaches, it has that, those ascension headaches, um, I'll wear a veil. So, anyways, if you guys have felt the need to wear a veil lately, let me go know in the comments below or why you wear them. And I don't have any idea whether I have anything to do with this reading, but we shall see. I figured since the last for the Witches reading was so um, popular that tonight we would look into advice from Spirit on how to strengthen our craft or anything we need to work on with that. So, get set up. First up, we have hand fasting and union. Hand fasting is how I think some Wiccans do it and a lot of Celtics or Celtics may have done it. Where when you get married, you hold hands and they tie the rope around you or whatnot. But this is making me think that it's saying that working with someone or, you know, an entity or a spirit but work, or with yourself, working with someone for balance and uh, union here. But we'll clarify more with the Everyday Witch Tarot. Ace of Swords, the Tower, and the King of Wands. Lucky, lucky. Okay, for some of you, this may be some kind of a union or a friendship, some kind of partnership. And some kind of truth has come to light that's caused a tower. And, you know, a lot of times if we're in a tower moment, even though usually we come out of that tower smelling better, you know, being better than we were before... Sometimes when we get around a negative energy or, you know, energies that aren't suited or well for us, um, it will cause a tower. Sometimes spirit sacred will cause a tower and shake things up. Yes, fire energy. I don't know if a lot of you guys work with fire magic. But the King of Wands is somebody who um, usually thinks before he acts, is how I'm getting from this King of Wands. I feel like a lot of you are in stepping into your masculine energy, possibly using fire magic. Fire magic I use, it's epic for my protection spells. Epic, epic, epic for protection. Um, I'm also hearing Kundalini. Some of you may be... Looking into Kundalini energy, and my only advice on that is it's, you can do it without refraining from sex or self-pleasure, because you have to reserve that sexual energy to be able to use that fire Kundalini, Kundalini energy and magic, but sometimes when you refrain from sex or pleasuring yourself for a while, <laughs> um, it helps build that up so you can access that more. Um, that works for me sometimes. I also can reach mine through meditation, but that's a little, it depends on how advanced you are with meditation and your spirituality in that way. But let's pull some more on this. Let's pour some more on the tower.
The Eight of Pentacles, Justice, and the Seven of Cups. Yes. Um, I think some of you have found out the truth, and you're bringing in your own justice. And you've been battered and bruised. Look at that. She's got an eye patch made out of cloth going there. Like she's just battled some major sickness or something or some major battle. And there may be someone causing an illusion here. Definitely, definitely some of you need to cleanse. I have brooms everywhere. I made this one from my pine to help protect. Black cat is a familiar. That's going to help a lot of you with this. But yes, there's an illusion on this eight of pentacles on working towards something. It's like, like I said in the beginning of that, that, that some of you may need to be working with someone. But what, oh my, got a flyer. Where did you go? Four of Pentacles, someone is working on holding back from you, whether it be someone is working against you to hold back your magic. It's like the black cat, black cats represent protection, is trying to escape that window and get away from that mofo. It's because it's like they don't want you to expand here. Some of you, they may be doing this while you sleep. Um, I don't have it here, but I used to use the devil's pod, or it's called the devil's nut in a spell ball bowl in my bedroom to help protect while I sleep. Um, you can also use mugwort and Dam Damiana, but yes, but I feel like a lot of you may know this because they're working on it. See the webs in the background, but there are no spiders in those webs. It's like it's starting to wear off. Either you guys are waking up to it, or you're increasing your protections, or you're just learning it right now. But let's, um, let's pull from this Oracle deck and see what we can do to help this, to help combat this energy. I keep seeing like an old, older lady here, but. And hearing crone. Aff affirmation for growth. Positive thinking. Positive thinking. Doing our affirmations. Sometimes it helps. You know, because that whole law of attraction, you know. Your mind will manifest. If you're at a balanced place in life. But affirmation for growth. If you take, say you want to be abundant. Um, if you make an oil, which they're not hard to do, message me or ask below um, about oil. But you get some kind of a, a witch's oil or holy oil. Same difference, just one's blessed by a priest, one's blessed by a witch. Nope. Um, but you make that oil, and if you take your affirmation, say you want more abundance in your life. Um, I mean, I'm not going to tell you, I'll tell you a little bit how I do it, but everybody's different. What works for them is different. You just have to work with it. But if you take that oil and rub it on yourself or anoint yourself with it and you think of what it would feel like to be have the abundance you want and then you chant in Latin preferably, there's a reason for that, trust me, that will go into a whole other video. But if you say it in Latin, you don't have to. It's just more powerful for me to do it. Um, I do Latin with the protection prayer, which you heard in the beginning. But it's easier for you to manifest if you're thinking about it every day, that constant thinking about it and water, um, using water while you meditate for water manifestation, for concentrating and moving that energy or, um, I can't think of what's, you know, when they come to you in your sleep, what is that word? Uh, okay, it'll come to me. <laughs> Let's get more advice on how to protect from this energy. A manifest. <laughs> meditation for priest, priest. Meditation for peace and serenity. Again, like I said, the water. Meditate with water. Some of you that really, really help. 
feel vibrations. Um, if you listen to music while you do it and you practice enough, you can actually feel the energy in the water. Uh, some of our other videos, you may see the little skull that I have. It's full of different water and crystals that I use, but that's on that. But let's go to another message on how we can help better our craft. Woo, Samhain, death, well. I mean, I love Samhain. And I'm getting the fire magic again. And protection, because pumpkins, you know, pumpkins represent protection. Um, I did fall protection readings with pumpkins in October. If you didn't see them, check them out on my page. But yes, there's, you need protection. And remember I said there was an older lady. Look at this. This person here doesn't look too nice. I feel for a lot of you, that's who might be kind of trying to come through while you sleep. I've had people try to do that to me. It's a lot. It made more sense when I got it figured out and got it contained. It was um, a dumb young baby bitch, but death. Sorry, guys. Um, let's see. We will pull from this tarot deck to clarify the death. And this protection. We get a lot of protection from this. Um, and this person's hiding and keeping quiet. Some of you may be telling you to work with the dead more to release ancestral karma. If you haven't checked out my graveyard tarot series, um, do that and all my other any past life videos that you need. Ooh. Eight of Wands. Knight of Pentacles and uh, Temperance. Well, there's a fast-moving Knight energy. Knight of Pentacles. This would be fast. Um, moving Knight. But Knights aren't typically fast. So I feel like this has been going on for a while with this. Some of you may have been awakened around Samhain to um, some kind of a spiritual awakening because the veil is thin, thin during Samhain and it's also thin now during Yule. Yule is technically on, and I missed said this in my earlier video, but it said July 6th and said January. But this week, this January 6th is when Yule starts because it's the full moon. And back before there was calendars, you know, time is an illusion. <laughs> but... Um, they celebrated Yule. It was the third full moon after the harvest moon. So technically Yule is this week. But yeah, it's like you're winking at them. Like this would be you winking at this person that's bringing in. Because this, right, this is like a storm. Bringing in a storm dressed up as this pretty, pretty pinnacle here. Some of you, this could be a friend. It could be, I would hope, not a coven member. Oh, lordy, but... Um, I don't think you're going to fall for it. I feel like a lot of you, Halloween, this past Samhain, has really, really empowered you. And when you're empowered with death energy, I love my graveyard dirt. It's the most one of the most powerful, potent ingredients I have. Um, and it's specific person's <coughs> graveyard dirt in my family. But if you're connected to death energy, um, you're connected to the rebirth, you're connected to life, the yin and yang, because death is just... Energy doesn't die, it just transforms, okay? Our physical body dies, but we technically, while well, never die, our energy transforms, but whole oh, other video, we'll get some more on that. Hierophant, four of wands, and five of cups. Um, this is sacred source, strengthening your foundation. Helping you to strengthen your foundation and not leave you in a sense of <coughs> um, loss. Because sometimes when astral project, that's the word I was looking for earlier, when people attack you in your sleep, um, other magical creatures, 
I will astro project. I can also do it when I meditate. I don't have to be asleep to do it. But anyway, side note. You can astro project and they will sometimes attack you in your sleep and it'll mess with your head. That is the biggest way that other practitioners will try to mess with somebody is by messing with their sanity. Especially younger type magical creatures that aren't very, like I said, the baby witch bitch. They're not very balanced and they do magic from a negative place, you know, not from a good standpoint and the whole harm none thing. But look, this is sacred strengthening your foundation. It's going to give you a reason to celebrate and take you out of this um, loss. I feel like you, you guys keep feeling like you lost something or you're lost from this attack. But let's close that one out with advice from the Everyday Witch Oracle. Air magic. Woo. Love air magic. Air magic is closest to ancestors. Seeing the feather there. Some of you may be like me and I have to look into your Indian ancestry. Um, I did mine and released some ancestral karma and it was rough, but well worth it. It was one of the first ancestral karmas I ever released, actually. Back in the day, and now I've been invited to teach classes on it at a little witchy group. It's great. But anyway, side note, air magic. This is also putting your intentions out into the air, okay? Okay, down here we have Awakening. I'm getting the blue lotus flower with this. And the blue lotus flowers, this is in bulk too. So coming in in the spring. But this is, the lotus flowers, the Egyptians, particularly Pharaoh Akhenaten, would use blue lotus flowers to increase the DMT, which is that chemical that makes you kind of like when you're on shrooms, connect to other realms. But they would use it to try to do that. Now, I did it by the Kundalini magic and meditation. But I guess, you know, if people don't know how to do that, because the Blue Lotus Flower, like, they used it back then, but they also said that had, like, 77% death rate. So, I don't know if I want to try that. There may be certain mushrooms that can help you. Side note, won't get into that, but it can. Microdosing in teas. I may or may not have done that myself. <laughs> but healing waters. Yes, but be careful of the sly fox. We got the trick energy. Healing waters. Watch this fox or this fox will come in and make your tree bare. In the bit ground, but let's get a couple more on that. Thank you, spirits. Will of fortune. As long as my will. Um, the fortune is changing in your home. In your, well, you know, whatever your home is to you. That could be a place, a person. Changing in your home. Changing in your craft. As the wheel goes along this year, your craft is going to be increasing. Looky, looky there. Again with the water magic. Um, spiritual baths. I'm getting from this too. Um, that is a way of baptizing yourself. You know, if you go back and research what actual baptism is. Uh, spiritual waters. You can take water in a bottle. Put it in the window. I did it this past uh, winter solstice. And had a spiritual winter solstice shower. You can do it on the moons. You know, you can get holy oil, which is oil that I make. And you can put it in the water. There's all kinds of ways to take a spiritual bath. Herbs. Certain crystals. The ones that can go in the water, that is. Judgment. Oh, Reaping what you sow. And this looks a beautiful judgment for you. You have worked hard. And definitely, definitely look into using music with your magic vibration. The Egyptians use vibration and water for movement. It helps move things. But as far as we'll go there. <laughs> like I said, look into the vibration and the meditating. And it will help you astral project. The lovers. Working with yourself. But beware of risky commitments because people will, unbeknownst to them sometimes, some are just energy vampires, but they will steal your energy. Homeland Foundation. <laughs> Homeland and Foundation. Let's get some more on that.
Um, some of you may be broadening your horizons or traveling soon with that map. Or looking into, like I said, your past lives and stuff. Might have been all over the place. So, side note for some of you. King of Pentacles, King of Swords, and the Sun. All right, all right. Um, the King of Pentacles, we have someone who is very grounded. They, uh, But this King of Pentacles looks like he wants his cake and to eat it too. Um, so remember when you're putting in work to look up your ancestors, your past lives, um, to be humble is what I'm getting from that. But this King of Swords is telling you to not act before you think. And think that you're healing. Because, you know, healing is a long process. It's a lifelong journey, learning, and healing, and strengthening our craft. Oh, and the Queen of Swords. Balancing your feminine and masculine. Also, also another thing that will increase your craft and help you manifest what you're trying to manifest. We'll get a few more on that, and then we'll close out the oracles. My daughter is waking up. <laughs> oh, one fell out. Queen of Pentacles. All these queens and kings. Queen of Pentacles. Strength. Ten of Cups. Yes. The strength. This is taming your ego. Um, Not thinking that you have everything that you need to know. There's, like I said, there's always stuff to learn. Life is an endless learning journey. I'm so glad I understand that now. It used to drive me crazy because I want to learn everything now. And <laughs> that's just my Virgo placements. But. The strength, taming the beast. This is making the ego bow down to your, you know, controlling your ego for your spiritualishness. So you can be this balanced Queen of Pentacles energy, balanced feminine masculine. It will help you manifest what you want. And side note, back to when I said when you did your um, affirmations, when you say them, if you say them in Latin or English, whatever language, say them in present tense not past tense like if you want to be abundant don't say i want to be abundant say i am abundant side note i forgot to tell you guys that but we'll close out i forgot to one over there too some more advice on how to strengthen your craft here some of you are getting dream messages you're missing i just heard that prosperity and abundance prayers and wishes all those roses back there being reminded to tell you roses. I use roses a lot in protection work. I know it's a lot of people cliche use it for love, which it can be, but I use it a lot in protection work. Um, some of you may very well be bringing in this prosperity and abundance. Um, and did it say during in bulk Sabbath here? Uh, prayers and wishes. Yeah. Holding back this negative energy. Working on your air magic, your water magic, and your fire. Water, ma water and fire magic, I know those don't usually go together, but if you can balance them and work with them both at the same time, it's epic. Use the candle, the water, line them up while you're meditating. Feel the energy and just practice that a little bit every day. And I promise you, it will resonate, okay? Pull a couple more. Yes, make a move. Some of y'all I'm hearing this week on the full moon and it's most powerful full moon because it's also the yule moon coming in um if you want to burn what you want to let go of before midnight on your candle or yule log do it before midnight and then after midnight when the sun's coming back because you know it's a celebration of when the sun will come back after the long hard cold you burn a manifestation that you want to bring in this year okay one more on how to bring in this prosperity and abundance in your craft Ground and center. Work on grounding. And I'm also getting the unilateral cross there, which is representative of earth, air, fire, and water. This is balance. Uh, grounding energy. Meditate to help ground yourself. To help center yourself. Because when you're grounded and centered, your magic's coming from more of a better standpoint, and it's going to manifest better. Okay, guys, I hope this was helpful. Um, I'm going to start working on all signs reading and then individual signs here this week. But until I see you again, rise from those ashes.